Spider-Man for the Atari 2600, developed and published by Parker Brothers, it was released for the video computer system in 1982, designed by Laura Nikolic, up to two players take control of the wall crawler, and have to defuse bombs on a skyscraper by scaling it with your web shots, so you can rack up the points. You control Spider-Man by pressing the button to shoot your web fluid while using the upper part of the joystick to determine its direction. The difficulty switches aren't used, which is a shame. Spidey makes his video game debut on Atari's VCS-2600, and the brothers at Parker gave him a simple, entertaining start. As a spider that you are, you're tasked with making your way up a tall building in order to defuse a super bomb up top, being protected by the Green Goblin. You are limited with how much web fluid you have in your wrist, so you have to make sure every web shot counts and you don't fall off. You can fall off the building when your web shot doesn't hit a solid part of the building, or if you get too close to a regular bomb when it explodes, or touch the green goblin. You'll then have to shoot another web shot and hopefully get back to crawling upward, otherwise you'll splat onto the ground and lose a life. You can also lose a life if you run out of web fluid at any point, which can result in longer falls down the building. You can get more fluid if you apprehend criminals that are in the windows, but once you lose all your lives, the game is over. However, if you can make it to the top and disarm the super bomb, your score will double and you'll move on to the next level with increased difficulty. Like many 2600 games, this title tries to emulate an arcade feel as you go on till you die and get as many points as you can, but you can change things up a bit with the six different game types. Odd numbers are for single players, while even are the two player variants. The challenge obviously becomes greater the higher in difficulty you go, but the constant remains if the spider hits the concrete enough times, your day is done. Overall, this is a fine Atari game, brings something different to your TV screens, and gave everyone's favorite friendly neighborhood Marvel character an interesting start to say the least. The game has somewhat increased in value since I got my copy, due in part to WADA inflation or the fact that it is the first Spider-Man game. I like to think it was for its insane commercial it got. Watch it sometime, it's nuts. And stop. Look out! Here comes the Spider Man! Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.